So let's get into our awesome things of the week. Um, let's uh, let's let's start with Studio Chilla today. Studio Chilla. What do I have? So I actually picked up. <clears throat> it's actually made by iHome, and it's called the Smart Plug. Um, a lot of sites actually refer to it by its model. So it's the ISP fifty five. Um, I recommend actually getting this device at Home Depot, um, mm. primarily because it's between ten and fifteen dollars cheaper than everywhere else, including um, Amazon. Nice. So I, I definitely recommend picking it up there. A lot of stores don't even have it on the shelf, so ask for it. They have it in a box in the back. They'll bring it out to you at a $30 price point. This lets you actually add home kit um, type plugs to your house. As a, So this plugs into the wall, and then you can plug something into it. So you can do things like, hey, Siri, turn off the podcast lights. Wait. Hey, Siri. Now it's not working. Hey, Siri, turn off the podcast lights. Boom. The lights are off. Turn on the podcast lights. And they're back on. So this works actually from anywhere. So you can you're, actually set this up. You can, your, your video you can paused put... every time you tried to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it was too much for your video to handle and it cut out. You're like you're still paused. Oh, really? Yeah, like it's too much change in the in the in the footage. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and you got you got stuck somehow like like it's your hangout it's not even like like the in studio here like I, you you're, huh. you're you're frozen like it took a sec like you're still in dark mode over here <laughs> but i'm i can see myself okay in my frame that's interesting um oh well, you know what it's, it's the computer you're on it's a computer on my end you're on apparently cuz i see you moving on every other one but uh but you, we got the idea <laughs> you're, you Again, you're still in dark mode. We'll figure that out here in a moment. <laughs> but um, uh, but, but at $29.99, I thought this was a, a, an interesting buy, especially because it's one of the only HomeKit devices that doesn't need an additional hub. Mm -hmm. So if you're familiar with the Cassetta Lutron wireless devices or Philips Hue or any of those devices, you actually have to have an additional hub. Um, this device actually is the kind of has that all embedded and wrapped up works inside and outside the house you can actually limit it that if you wanted to just make it where it worked inside your house you could do that um, i'll probably be picking up a couple of these as stocking stuffers they're definitely good for things like christmas trees um, any kind of lamp in your house and then you can also set up when you when you walk through the first time setup it uses it works on Android, but it also works on iOS. Um, I'm primarily using it on iOS with the Siri-based stuff. Um, <clears throat> it also allows you to set up zones and themes. So if I want to say it's movie time, it'll turn off a bunch of lights or specific lights versus turning on other lights. Um, obviously, it's not like the Hue lights where it's going to let you set color or anything like that. Um, it's The functionality is to turn things on or off. Um, the other thing that I like about the Cassetta, while it's a lot more expensive in like the $200 to $250 range, the Cassetta and the Hue <laughs> sorry. systems, oh. bless you. Thank you, sorry. The Cassetta and the Hue systems allow you to actually have kind of a, a physical remote. So if you have people that don't have cell phones or, or Android tablets or whatever laying around the house, um, the other devices have, have kind of a, a very – wall switch wall plate look controller to them mm -hmm. whereas this only works via your phone but like i said I, I think i'll be buying this as a couple stocking stuffers for the holidays nice nice very check cool check it out yeah I, I, I love that this this is for I, I need to get more information for you and uh but uh I, I actually had a good conversation at alpha lab at the open coffee club uh they're actually trying to do there's a company over there at alpha lab gear trying to do home automation but without the internet and like in a closed system i think so I, I i don't have any more information for you but i think we'll investigate for a later discussion but that was kind of an interesting like okay that's anti what everybody else is doing you know um because well, the one of the other products that i use the um x10 equipment is is meant for closed network connectivity it's not actually meant for coming in across the internet right right but Awesome. So go check that Home Depot, and it is called the. I just closed the tab. What was it called again? It's called the iHome Plug. 
It's made by the same company that makes like iHome speakers and alarm clocks and whatnot. 